So here I live. I live in California. We have a super majority in the legislature Democrat. We have a Democratic governor. I have a Democratic mayor. I have a Democratic city council. We don't have anything in California. It's the fifth largest economy in the world. We don't have Medicare for a while. We don't have student debt relief. I got a governor issuing 32 fracking permits this year alone. We got people sleeping under every goddamn bridge in this fucking state. Fifth largest economy in the world. That We have a bigger economy than Russia. Uh, Russia has Medicare for all. We don't in California. This is super majority Democrat, Democrat run every fucking position in government in California. And this place is a shithole. People are living under bridges. Uh, people are moving out of this state. So that's what you get if you vote Democrat. Keep voting Democrat and you'll get California. That phrase, defund the police, cost Jamie Harrison tremendously. Now, I'm not saying it was the only problem. You sound kind of mad, Congressman. It sounds like you're blaming the more. Yeah, I mean, we almost made the mistake of listening to voters. Let's start a third party. Let's 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 do this because voting Democrat, we're all going to be dead by the time there's enough progressives to take over that party. That it should happen five about five years after we're all dead from climate change, and we will have it in a very significant way. Never happened. Just come down. We're going to have very way. She's the speaker of the house. She can't speak. Just calm down. We're going to have relief for staying in local, and we're going to have a... Go fuck yourself in the ass with a pine tree. Uh, in Chicago. Okay, cut his mic. Cut him. Cut his mic. There's, a, there's, there's right now our producer saying cut his mic. Considering the fact that he closed over 50 elementary schools and 30 mental health institutions. Cut him. Uh, it's incredibly alarming. and. Okay, good. What the fuck? And like, they're, they're, they are asking for things, but I think, and they're going to, they're getting things. They're getting some representation on committees. They're, it's like, it's insider. Fuck off. Fuck you. Fuck off. Go fuck yourself with your fucking committee, fuck face. <laughs> you fucking egghead nerd. I don't give a fuck about your committee shit. Nobody voted for her for a fucking committee. Why don't you stop saying that stupid shit? No, 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 I, I, That's I directed a, at Matt, not at Jaya Fucking Matt. I have a point. I have a point here. Yeah, you um, fucking bet you do. It's called a point Dexter. That's a fucking <laughs> stupid thing to say. There's some factional disputes here or there. And what's that worldview? I just don't think, yeah, what's what the worldview? What the view? fuck? Are you fucking on drugs? Are you shitting me that the fucking regular corporate Democrats and us share the same core values? None. So she's going to be going out as speaker in 2022. And so she's going to bookend her career by calling for a single payer vote and denying a single payer vote. That's going to be the bookends to her career while people are dying during a deadly pandemic. And I'm supposed to be embarrassed that I'm raising my voice. Well, I'm not. And if they don't fucking do this, I'm coming for them and I'm never stopping. Jesus fucking Christ. It's a bummer to see people excuse comments like F her and F her and F anyone who protects her. That's not tone. That's violence. I think we saw what real violence was this last week at the Capitol, didn't you? That's real violence. That's this, violence. This is called freedom of speech. This is called criticizing public officials when they're abandoning us, you fucker. <laughs> you lying, scheming, manipulative... politician mm -hmm. oh wait the other politicians lie and scheme not my politician not the people on my side it's the people on the other side that lie and it's not the people i voted for it's not the people i donate to it's the other people that lie and scheme. it's not our <laughs> hey by the way uh how many can i ask you uh aoc and all the people protecting her from my words how many people died from the use of the word fuck last weekend at the Capitol? Did anybody get, did somebody get shot in the neck with an adjective? Did somebody tase themselves in the balls with an adverb? 
Did somebody get trampled with a preposition? That's violence. Sure that everybody and, and the Affordable Care Act has made tremendous progress. We have more work to do. And I think the unity, Chris, that we've shown in the, the recent efforts by uh, Trump to repeal the Affordable Care Act have been a, a, an energizing force for Democrats, independents, others who share the value. Who is this guy? Is this guy Mr. Potter? Is this guy the Grinch? Is this guy, Mr. literally, is this guy Mr. fucking Potter from It's a Wonderful Life? Because that, ah, oh, we can't, I'm not going to, I'd like to put money into some vaccines and testing, something we can make, get a return on. Mm-hmm. Just give people money. We close their businesses down, we take away their jobs, and then we're supposed to just give them money? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Forcing the wealthy to spend could boomerang. If the wealth tax had been in place a century ago, we would have more anti-Semitism from Henry Ford and a smaller Ford Foundation today. (laughs) So taxing billionaires is now the work of the Nazis from, from, from this guy. Is that what he's saying? Am I misinterpreting that? No. So if you're for taxing people, then you're for you're for more anti-Semitism. <laughs> what the fuck? This that's a real tweet. Up to the lawn. The leading force for good in the world. The leading when in the fuck were we ever the leading force for good in the world? Do, can, when when was that? Nineteen uh, forty. By the way, can I tell you, Hillary Clinton is like a faulty if like a faulty car alarm became a person. <laughs> It's like, oh, there she's going off again about Russia. Yeah, it's, it was just a breeze. <laughs> just a breeze. What is this podcast called, by the way? Wine Drunk Conspiracies? Is that what this is called? <laughs> okay. Many people that that have been mobilized behind Trump, right? Who, who, who That guy doesn't sound party. like he's a Trumper. That guy sounds like he's against were, both and parties. They, and they were told that the cause of their problems are Mexicans... That's Chinese. not what the fucking that yeah, guy was saying, Jerry. That's not what he that was is, saying. Is, you're you're putting words in his mouth, Jerry. Right. That's not what he was saying. That's not what he was saying. You're you're making you're just making shit up now. That guy right. was anti-racist. You're, you're, that guy was anti-racist. That, you're just making you're you're arguing something that we're not even fucking talking about, Jerry. That's not well, what that guy was I, saying. I, your I, character. I you're what, you're making a caricature of him. You're making a caricature of that guy. That he said exact opposite of everything you just said. That is not helpful, Jerry. But what is the Boogaloo Boys? I asked him what the Boogaloo Boys was. He said they were a response to the racist right wingers, and they're not racist right wingers, and they're anti war, and they're anti cop. And that did you not hear what he said about the racist right wingers don't understand when they're anti cop, when they're anti, and they don't get it. So that's so he explained what they were if they're pro LGBT anti-racist, anti-war, and anti-police brutality. And you still want to shit on those people? That's not, that's not, you're not really in goodwill. You're not, you're not talking in goodwill. You're not being, you're, this is fucking horrible what you're doing. So anyway, all right. Well, thanks, Jerry, for coming on. Do you want to talk about the strike? <laughs> the United States, and they said, gringos, wake up. We're in the same struggle. That is left wing. That is socialist to unite the working class internationally. Yeah. The Boogaloo Boys, the fascists are nationalists. Okay. They say we have to protect our country. All right, Jerry, stop it. We we talked well, about it's, it's, it's it. Jerry, stop it. Come are, on. We have to clarify workers on these Claire, questions. Those people, not be confused by such questions. I I, I got you. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. The fucking guy comes on. He says he's pro BLM. He's anti police. He's anti war. What the fuck? And you still got to do that. That's just ridiculous. You know, that's the opposite of what you should be doing. You should be trying to find common ground with workers and then you convince them of the other shit you try to convince them of. You don't run around calling people fucking fascists and racists when they aren't, when they're just regular Americans and they fucking have been shut out of work like everybody else and they show up at protests to fucking protect Black Lives Matter and you run around shitting at them like a fucking guy. 
that it just doesn't help. That's not helpful. You have some well, great ideas, but what you're doing is not helpful. Question. That's just ridiculous. When you keep doing that over and over, and we had it's this conversation already. A, this conversation this already about that part is over. Can we talk about the goddamn strike in fucking New York City without you sc- uh, be smearing some guy who was just on my show five seconds ago who said the exact opposite shit of what you're attributing to him? He said the exact opposite of every fucking thing you're saying he said. What the fuck? What a fucking cowardly little bitch. Yeah, get the fuck out. I'm right spin, did you spit in his face? Right here. Did you spit in his face? Right here. Did you spit in his face? So I'm asking you, did you spit in his face? Is I see? Okay, fine. Secretary of State Anthony. <laughs> Anthony Blinken. Not Anthony. Anthony. Repeated warnings that Iran could be on course to get enough fissile material to build a nuclear weapon within months. <gasps> scared, scared, be afraid that Iran's going to launch a nuclear weapon. Adding that if Iran continues to lift restraints from the nuclear deal, it could be a matter of weeks. <laughs> Um, I mean, you know, first and foremost, I, I would even say you need to start talking more shit about Tucker Carlson and his rants about uh, his uh, uh, white nationalism. Dude, you need to dude, be talking dude, shit Rod, about Tim Pool. Rod, Rod, don't do that. We're, we're not talking about fucking Tucker Carlson. We're not talking about shit I should be doing. We're talking about this fucking guy and the Boogaloo boys. I'm not talking. What the fuck are you doing? Okay. Can, well, can then, you talk uh, about what we're talking about? I asked you about the Boogaloo Boys, and you start telling me what I should be doing with Tucker Carlson. What all the right, fuck? Well, then let's go. Let's go directly to his Twitter threads. Um, no, and, no, no, and all the all the stuff, dude. What, what about what, what about all this dude, stuff? Dude, I'm from asking Magnus you talking about his support of Kyle Rittenhouse. Dude, I'm I'm asking you about the Boogaloo Boys and what you know about them, and if okay, what so, if so, what the ADL is saying is correct. Is what the ADL is saying is that correct? Hey, which Google grade are you in? I pledge allegiance to the gigabyte. Oh, hang on one second. This is uh, my pot dealer. Anyway, uh, it's Jill Stein's fault. It's Bernie Bro's fault. It's uh, millennials. Millennials fall. The goddamn millennials fall. Oh, don't get me started. It's the racist's Sorry. fault. It's misogynist's mm. fault. It's hatred's fault. It's the Russia's fault. It's Russia. It's Russia's fault that they lost. You know when they had a, an economic downturn the last time we had one? You know what your husband did, Michelle? He kicked 5.1 million Americans out of their house, made the banks bigger. You piece of shit. Here's Barack Obama in Flint, Michigan. There you go. You know, generally I have not been doing stunts here, but, you know. But I'm going to try my hand at prop comedy right now. Here he is doing a look. Look at that fucking look in his face, that dead look in his eyes. Look at that dead look in his eye. Look at that fucking dead look in his eyes. Okay, here we go. Tap out. Do not feel. Tap out. Go numb, go numb, poison people, leave pe- leave children poisoned. Didn't even give them health care. He could have, with a stroke of a pen, he could have given them all Medicare. He didn't. Look at that, look at the look at that. Come on, I'm not making that up. No, I mean, you see it every time he takes this drink, you just go. Dead eyes, dead. You tapped out of life, Obama. That's Barack Obama literally killing people right there. And his, his own countrymen. Can I show you what I wrote back to him? So what I wrote back to him was, good morning, Alexander, whatever his fucking name is. I said, I'm a pothead jagoff comedian who spent the last 25 years entertaining drunks in nightclubs. I stand by nothing I've ever said or done. I'm not a respectable person. I sincerely appreciate you reaching out to me for comment. Most people who do hit pieces on me don't bother. So thanks. Uh, who put in steel tariffs. So, uh, no, this is so not... So you're in alignment with Bernie Sanders. On, on the I'm issue of saying. trade, on, on, the that. Issue, on the issue of trade, we there is alignment, but... Ah! <laughs> Boom. <laughs> on the issue of economic trade, he's in alignment with a Vermont socialist. She just fucking nailed him. Wow. This guy who was fear-mongering 
So, 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 you're in agreement with him on trade, though, right? Yeah, we're yeah, we're cool with the socialist on trade. <laughs> <laughs> does that hurt? Does that hurt my position? Does that does that uh, make me look like a fucking idiot? A little bit. Bargaining. When we lead with our values as Democrats and talk about what we've done to what? What are your values? What the fuck are they, Tom? We're, we're friends. We're all friends at the Democrats. We all we we're best. We have bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> this is sickening this is sad and disgusting hey does your grandma say does your i know that's what your grandma says your grandma says you know, that lord, the good lord ain't done with you yet find your door but does your grandma also say bomb libya and take their oil because <laughs> that because that's what near says did your did your grandmother also say please defend warmongers in my name i bet your grandmother didn't say that jamie <laughs> You almost said it. No, no. When you is, is you force when you vote no. When you when you force, ah, shit. <laughs> you did disconnect, disconnect. When you force a when you vote no. <laughs> Let's see it again. That's no, no, when you is you, you, you passes, passes. So what you do is you force when you vote no. <laughs> That forces them back to the negotiating table, but this time you're actually at the table. You mean like if oh, you withhold my. your vote from Nancy Pelosi for speaker, you have to go back to the caucus and you have to fucking figure it out again or get a new speaker? You mean like that? So now you're at the negotiating table? Now you have been like that? He almost said it. We don't need an, we don't have enough votes yet. Maybe later, said Martin Luther King Jr. from the Birmingham jail. <laughs> if you ever wondered, could someone be so boring that my cock actually falls off? <laughs> yes. Watch that. Watch when he comes on rising. You'll be like, oh my God, what happened to your cock, honey? I was watching Ryan Grimm on rising and my cock literally got bored off. Too valuable. We've got a great thing going here. Great benefits, job security, career opportunities. It's important to remember, signing a union card isn't just about you. You could also be affecting the people who have worked here for years and enjoy Walmart for the same reasons we do. People like me. And me. Who like being underpaid. <laughs> people like me, who uh, don't, I, I don't go to the doctor when I'm sick. <laughs> people like me. People voted for Bernie Sanders. People came out for Bernie Sanders. Your goddamn organization cheated us out of him on purpose. So fuck you. You fucking tool. Wag your finger at the voter. Go to another country and wag your finger at the voters in America. The goddamn system is designed to suppress the vote, you son of a bitch. And you fucking know it. Director, is that part of the disastrous Trump COVID response? Is that Trump put in a key COVID response role? One of the people who helped Russian intelligence with its 2020 election attack. <laughs> you know why our COVID response sucks so bad? Russia! <laughs> Fucking Russia! Even begin to unravel that. How do you even begin to get accountability for that? Okay, the way you begin to unravel that, I'm going to tell you this is how journalism works. I already smoked pot today, so I'm going to tell you how it works, okay? <laughs> and I'm going to say it extra loud so we can get through your fake eyelashes and into your brain. Was that your laptop? For real, I don't know. I know, but well, you know that's... Is, this I really a, don't know okay. if the answer is. That's you don't know yes answer. or no if the laptop I don't have was any yours. idea. I have ah! no idea. So it could have been yours. Ah! Of course, certainly. It, 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 there could be a laptop out there that was stolen from me. There could be that I was hacked. It could be that it was, the, that it was Russian intelligence. It could be that it was stolen from me. <laughs> oh, my God. It could. It could, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, in fairness, if you get paid thousands of dollars a month to do nothing, you might forget how many laptops you have too. Yeah, it's a it's a complete scam. It's a Wikipedia is a complete scam, uh, completely. And I I I should be able to. I think I'm going to look into suing them. I, I actually, I'm sure, I'm sure there's a technicality why you can't, uh, just like yeah. why you can't sue Facebook. But another thing is. 
What's weird is that Wikipedia, it's like if you Google my name, it's like the first thing that comes up. Why the fuck mm-hmm. is that the first thing that comes up? Does, does Wikipedia and Google have a fucking, do they have some kind of an agreement? We're going to rank your Wikipedia number one. So if you want to smear people, here it is. To me, he tweeted out a part of my show. And he thought this would be embarrassing to me. You think I'm kidding? Watch. If you ever wondered, could someone be so boring that my cock actually falls off? <laughs> yes. Watch that. Watch when he comes on Rising. You'll be like, oh, my God, what happened to your cock, honey? I was watching Ryan Grimm on Rising, and my <laughs> cock literally got bored off. <laughs> Now, that's a solid piece of comedy right there. And he thought I would be somebody. Because what Ryan Grimm doesn't realize is you could hear Justin Jackson is also laughing. What Ryan Grimm doesn't realize is that I'm not looking for a job. I don't need to be friends with anybody and fuck only those pukes in journalism that work at The Intercept. And I don't have a supervisor or manager that you can complain to that will fire me. You're fucked, Ryan Grimm. I'm going to be exposing you for the rest of your bullshit career. Weigel, pro, pro, who used to lead pro-war rallies, and now he's the lead reporter covering progressive politics for Jeff Bezos. That sounds like motorcycles. Hey, you got you got did a motorcycle just come in your <laughs> living room? <laughs> what the? I, that that felt like an accident was coming out my window, but it's okay. I think. Is your okay. is your girlfriend playing Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> <laughs> liars they're all <laughs> shitty people they're all bought and paid for this isn't a mistake because how, how do i know that because i got the story right and i'm fucking baked so these people are liars of the highest order and if somebody paid me thirty thousand dollars a day i'd fucking lie about it too because they lie at the behest of the establishment and so there's never a price to pay for that and we, even though I could debunk it in real time, high in my garage, the people at the tippy top of journalism at the New York Times, the Washington Post, lied to you. Materially attached to a position of power. If you're a one term Congress member, so what? You can make 10 years worth of change in one term if you're not afraid. People- Fuck you, you fucker. So uh, our show, it basically is geared towards getting me an MSNBC contract. Yeah. And uh, and then I'll start calling other people grifters. That's basically what I will. <laughs> I thought I wanted to do for yeah. this whole time. Do you even know who runs the DSA? No. Why? Because they don't want you to know because they're fucking you over and over. You're a fucking nutless wonder chump. I wish I could give credit. I, that's, that tweet went viral. Right. And Madeleine Albright was actually the first female Secretary of State in the U.S. And I, it is a pleasure to have you here. It's an honor to have a conversation with you. <laughs> well, I'm delighted to be interviewed by you. Thank you very much. <laughs> They've been doing my whole life. So this idea that racism just got invented by Trump is fucking crazy. And that's what, and so they've been working with these motherfuckers. Joe Biden's a racist. The people are in fucking prison because of Joe Biden's racism, not because of Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. So that's what I say. Nobody who, nobody who watched that interview with me doing that interview could criticize me, except that fucking jerk off, uh, Jerry, from the, that's, who claims to be a socialist. And I go, what's your message for a guy like Matt? He goes, I don't have a message for him. I go, well, then you don't know how to fucking organize. That's not how organizing works. And that's why nobody ever heard of that guy. That, that people like Magnus and you have common enemy. And that con- common enemy is Wall Street. That common enemy is Aetna and Blue Cross. That common enemy is Exxon. That common enemy is Raytheon. You guys have common enemy. Your enemy isn't a fucking another guy who's broke dick living in a fucking trailer. That's not your fucking enemy. <laughs> let, me give, let me say one more thing, Jay, because you, you Grown up people with degrees. And they're dumber than a fucking jagoff comedian who's high as a kite. Lawrence Tribe, I'll debate you. I'll be high as a kite. Working on this. 
I figured this out in two weeks, AOC. You liar. You coward. You gaslighter. You standing in the way of people in health care. You run on health care and then you deny it to us. You dangle it in front of your fucking constituents. And then when you get there, you don't lift a fucking finger. And I'm the problem. Fuck you. You already voted for the CARES Act. Fuck you. And fuck anybody who is protecting her. Fuck you. Bernie Sanders is a cock. He is. Get it through your fucking head. We don't have enough votes yet. Maybe later. You know, that's what Martin Luther King said from the Birmingham jail. Isn't that what he said? Yeah, yeah. We don't have the votes yet, folks. So wait for your civil rights. Uh, 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 Rosa Parks, stay in the back of the bus till we get the votes. All you people in Selma, don't do a march until we get the votes. Hey, that march on Washington, you know what that was? That's called performative. The march on Washington, that was performative. They didn't wait for the votes. They went and forced it. We know who you are. You probably get paid by NATO to go interview war criminals, don't you? You probably took $20 million from fucking Jeffrey Katzenberg to go gaslight people that Medicare for all is a bad idea right now. Let's do force the vote 10 more times at the right time. Just not now. What the fuck? Yeah. Who, are you, who are you talking about with that, Jimmy? I'm talking about anybody who's a progressive in Congress who isn't endorsing hashtag the vote. All those motherfuckers who didn't show up today at our town hall. Every fucking one of them is selling you out and canceling you for their own personal gain. I guess my like, are like, like, great? Are on. you fucking like shitting Green me? And I have been saying, hold on, hold on. May differ from the strategy. Some what of us is her strategy, on. Ben? Has she shared that with you privately? Because she hasn't shared her fucking strategy publicly. So if you have some information, could you share it with us? If you don't have any information, please tell me. Uh, please stop telling people that they have a fucking strategy when you know damn well they don't. Well, so I mean, what I would say is, right now, I'm not sure what their strategy is. At this they don't have moment, one, Ben. But... Stop saying you're not sure. You have but... no fucking idea. Okay. They have but... no strategy, okay. and you know it. Stop fucking yeah. saying you don't okay. know. Okay. What is their so, strategy? Jimmy, what I... If you know what their strategy is, tell me. If you don't, don't say you don't know. Say they don't fucking have one because they don't fucking have one. Well, but that is I, bullshit, uh, clap trap, mealy mouth, fuck face shit. Stop doing that, okay. Ben. No, so, well, yeah. let's, hold on. You are dying, Ben. Quit giving politicians the benefit of the fucking doubt. Let me just tell you this. Uh, I, uh, I share 99% of my genes with a monkey. It's that 1% that really makes all the difference, isn't it? has been screaming inwardly. This woman is screaming inwardly the way I've been screaming outwardly, and that's why it got traction. That's how you fucking do a pressure campaign. Not by sending them chocolates. We gotta be nice to the people to get them to do what they fucking ran on? Are you out of your fucking mind? That we have to be nicer to them to get them to do what they fucking ran on? You're a cuck if you don't fucking hold their feet to the fire. They ran on it. The DSA, it's in their goddamn fucking manifesto that this is the centerpiece and they wouldn't get on it. Shame them. That's what fucking works. You think this happened because I was fucking nice to them? No, it's because I finally started holding the pro the Justice Democrats to account for their bullshit. That's why this happened, not because I was fucking nice. And that's what's wrong with the left. They're a bunch of fucking mealy mouth spineless pricks who don't do a fucking thing. The moment came and they did nothing. What the fuck and that's what makes you a shit lib. But I can spot the gay guys. How? If I, I have a, I have like a, I have a gaydar. I have a gaydar, right? So if I look at a guy and my dick gets hard, gay. <laughs> and man, do they come out in the summer. <laughs> 
Jesus fucking Christ. Right now in the United States, people should not be walking around with masks. You're sure of it? Because people are listening really no, closely to this. Right now, people should not be walking. There's no reason to be walking around with a mask. When you're in the middle of an outbreak, wearing a mask might make people feel a little bit better, and it might even block a, a droplet, but it's not providing the perfect protection that people think that it is. And off We can't even get a floor vote on Medicare for all. Mm -hmm. Not even a floor vote that gets voted down. Mm -hmm. We can't even get a vote on it. Mm -hmm. So this is not a left party. Mm -hmm. There are left. You really think the people who are saying fraud squad are fucking wrong? Hey, if we just be nicer, because my night, my life is comfortable. I'll just be nicer to everybody. We'll have we'll have called dulcet tone conversations and I'll bring chocolates and people will keep fucking dying. I was told uh, by an executive at the Young Turks that when they after they took the 20 million dollars that we know we have to turn to the center. That was an executive at the Young Turks told me that I know we have to turn to the center. And by right, by the way, Ryan Grimm, your boring, lying ass is welcome on this show anytime you need a good humiliation. Maybe it helps you come. I don't know. Whatever it is, if you need a good humiliation, come on the Jimmy Dore show. I'll smoke a bowl. I'll be blazed out of my mind and I'll run fucking circles around your boring ass any day of the week. Of course, you won't come on because you're a gutless, nutless fucking wonder. And I'm going to keep exposing you. It ain't stopping. So have a good life. Fuck you. Do you need a pothead comedian to tell you about how fucking union labor law works? Case fucking closed. I'm fucking done with you, you fucking wet blanket, Margaret Dumont, pearl clutching pussy. Now, look, the guy's kind of pathetic. And uh, so and he's crushing me in views right now. That's how pathetic he is. He's crushing me. He's single-handled, dismantled my reputation, and uh, he's revealed what a charlatan I am. Without much effort, really, it's not that hard. Anyway, go back to you. What? What is it? Back to you, Jake. But Jimmy Dore smoking pot in his garage. Somehow, that's the dirty money. The guy who, after every video, says, "Don't keep your money. Don't give me money." That's what I do after every video. But somehow, I'm the one corrupted, as this guy points out, as Jimmy Dore's garage points out. So no more Medicare for all, huh, Bernie? No. Not even he's not even pushing a public option. Uh, Bernie's not even pushing pu nothing. He's doing this pretending like he's helping you. When Chuck Schumer fights harder than the squad. Look at that. Ah, uh, it's from Jimmy Dore's garage. <laughs> it's coming from inside the garage. <laughs> <laughs> I do by the way, that is not uh affiliated officially with the Jimmy Dore show. I don't know who does that. But uh, tip of the hat, good work. Chuck Schumer do this and force a vote on a legislation that's going to fail. Well, it's to send a message and put Republicans and Democrats on the record on this issue of voting rights. What? No. F and F. Are you kidding me? That is nuts. What the fuck? <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? Get a hold of yourself. I just can't get I'll punch him. Did he say inappropriate? Because I'm going to punch him. Unfucking believable. Uh, I always refer to myself as a pothead jag off comedian in my garage uh, because that's uh, what I am. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how many viewers? Oh, that's a closed fucking case. Oh, my God. Jimmy Dorsey inappropriate. What a motherfucker. I don't know if you watch their show, but their live stream viewers, they get half the live stream viewers that a pothead jagoff comedian in his fucking garage gets. This was the year, you motherfuckers. You fucking liar. You piece of shit. <laughs> you motherfuckers. If they might be ignorant on some policy ideas, but I have friends. So what? Who gives a fuck?